If you're like me, you can't fall asleep without some sort of white noise. But does white noise really help us sleep? Is it even healthy to have noise playing all throughout the night? Let's get to the bottom of this white noise mystery to see if there's any science behind why I keep my fan blowing in the middle of winter. You probably hear some kind of white noise every day. Fans, air conditioners, and radio static are good comparisons. It's like a shh sound. But the burning question is whether this kind of noise can actually help you sleep. Right now, the sleep expert community is torn, but people clearly enjoy using white noise to help them sleep. In fact, white noise machines date back to the 17th century. But there isn't enough convincing research to prescribe white noise as a sleep aid. We don't know if something about white noise helps you fall asleep or if it just blocks how other disturbing noise is keeping you up. For example, most New Yorkers say some random noise disturbs their sleep at least once a week. And a white noise machine can help block out those random, sudden noises that pop up in the middle of the night. The phrase white noise refers to a sound containing equal levels of all frequencies audible to the human ear. It's similar to how white light is made up of a combination of all visible light waves. Studies show that white noise can soothe crying infants, improve work performance, and help counter ADHD symptoms. When you turn on a noise machine, the frequencies of the machine mask or block out noises at a similar frequency. Now, we've all heard of white noise, but have you heard of pink noise? Brown noise? Blue? Purple noise, perhaps? These colorful noises share the same roots. They are constant background sounds and contain all audible frequencies to the human ear. But their color depends on how loud or quiet certain frequencies are. So let's sketch this out. Looking at this graph, we have the whole spectrum of human hearing, with lowest audible frequency starting here, all the way up to the highest here. And on this side, we have level or loudness. With white noise, we have equal loudness at every frequency across the spectrum. And that sounds like this. Pink noise, on the other hand, has a bit more power in the lower frequencies, and that power decreases as we continue up the frequency range. Here's what that sounds like. Brown noise is almost like exaggerated pink noise. The higher frequencies are practically inaudible, giving you this darker, warmer noise. And on the other side of the noise spectrum, we have blue noise. Blue noise increases in volume as the frequency increases, so you get a brighter sound like this. And finally, violet noise is similar to blue, but with a more extreme ratio between frequency and level. And it sounds like this. These colors might sound the same to the untrained ear, but the more you listen, the more you'll notice the subtle differences. In the end, whichever noise works best is totally up to personal preference. However, white noise is the most popular. So you may be wondering, isn't listening to all this noise all night, every night bad for my hearing? And unfortunately, it can be, if you're listening too loudly. Studies indicate that prolonged exposure to noise above 85 decibels can lead to ringing in the ears and even hearing loss. This is about as loud as a noisy restaurant, a vacuum, or a blow dryer. One study even found that nearly 65% of infant white noise machines were capable of playing sounds louder than that. If you have a white noise machine, we recommend using an app to make sure you're sleeping at a healthy volume. While there are no official guidelines regarding white noise volume for sleeping, it's best to keep it around 48 decibels or about as loud as rainfall. So try starting out there, and if it's not quite loud enough, increase the volume. Just make sure you stay below 85 decibels. Don't lie there and think colorful noises are all you need to sleep at night. They should be part of a healthy routine involving a dark, distraction-free environment. Close those blinds, put your phone away, and turn on your white noise machine. Science might not be convinced yet, but hey, if it works, it works. And if you prefer music to white or pink noise, we have a video all about how to pick the right bedtime beats right here. Thanks for watching, everyone. Sleep well.